So, I have a game. Okay. And I dropped my cue cards, so I'm gonna play this game without any of the cue cards. So this is a test for me as well. We are gonna play this or that. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drop that because that's the wrong one anyway. I'm gonna name two things. You have like half a second to think about which one you'd pick. This is like life or death, no thought process. This is what my answer is going to be. We're going to learn so wow. much based on the questions Rorschach I dropped and what I remember off okay. my memory. Okay. All right. Do I have to be honest? I mean, I won't know if you're lying. Ah. Unless you answered that question in a past panel and someone put it on a wiki page. Okay. Oh, well, I'm screwed. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to start easy. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Oh, good answer, good answer. Bad hair day or bad dye day? Like hair dye day. I know. They're the Gotta same thing. Not necessarily. I am I, finally, this is actually my real color of my hair. Oh, like you. you never saw, like I, I moved down to Los Angeles and immediately my hair changed, got blonde. Yep. And, and then I started, and then you, you go to whatever show you're doing, like, I don't think that that brown is exactly what we're looking for. It's like different shades of brown all the time. And I finally was just like, I'm stopping. I'm just, I'm, I'm 60 years old. I'm gray. Which, by the way, my dad, he, my dad has passed away, but, but in the, when he was older, he had this white gray hair. And I'm praying that I get that because then I'll look like Spike again. <laughs> Spock! Spock! Thank you for Shh. catching the mistakes that we aren't. Thank you. Nope, like that's Spock not the right cue card. I'm yeah, failing already. Like, everyone will be like, he can't give it up, can he? He's still bleaching his hair. It's We're like, no, I'm not. It's natural, guys. It's me. Damn it. Summer or winter? Summer. Oh, good answer. Hate being cold. Ugh. Well, this one Most question poor feels in Chicago. like cheating. Poor in New York. Oh. You know, I read... Um, I'm not going to let you do this without interrupting you all the time. No, you're allowed. I, I read Bob Dylan's uh, autobiography. Okay. And the first third of it is magical. It's all about being a poor artist in New York, which is all about being cold. Because you really, you can't afford a decent coat. You can't afford to be indoors because in New York to get indoors costs money. Mm -hmm. So you're out on the street a lot. Mm -hmm. And I just read that it was just magical. Uh, and then he gets famous and he has to kind of hide from the world because like people are climbing on his roof and he, he's hiding all the time and, he, and it's just kind of by the end of the, the end of the book is almost kind of sad because this artist who his whole, his whole gift was noticing how romantic and amazing the world was and describing it in an amazing way mm -hmm. and then he's forced by his fame to hide from that and then what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, being cold sucks. It does. Yeah. I, as somebody who lives in Alberta, I agree with this profusely. There you go. Yes. You know. um, this question that you can see is actually written down and was a generic one. Okay. Werewolves or vampires? Who or what? Werewolves or vampires? Vampires. I Werewolves know. are mindless. I know. And then they, and they, and then they get unwerewolf. They're like, oh, dear, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, dear, I feel so guilty. Vampires are like, oh, that was a great party. They at least take accountability. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have shameless. Right? Okay, this is a very Canadian one. Would you rather be confronted by a goose or confronted by a moose? Yeah, yeah. Well, geese are just, mooses, m mooses are dangerous. They, they are seriously light threatening. They can destroy dangerous. your car. Geese are just jerks. Oh yeah, they'll come at you, man. I mean, they'll bite you, but it's, you're not gonna go to the hospital. I mean, compared to a moose, I mean, yeah. a moose could kill you. I have no affection for geese. The Canadians are laughing at you right now. Why? Because, so Canadian geese, like, you could be walking down the street and like 20 of them will just come at you. Man. I know. But you could see a moose in the they distance would, no, and I'm... homie will just wave and keep going. <laughs> they don't care. They then know they you can know take how to out. deal with the moose. Yes. See, I'm from the States where we're like, oh my God, a moose. Everybody hug it. Take flash photographs of the moose. And then the moose is like, I ain't into it. It'll kill you. <laughs> so yeah, like a, a, You've been to a moose with a Canadian audience, <laughs> fine. Yeah, but with a U.S. audience, deadly. <laughs> and I know all about Canadian geese because I lived in Seattle, and on their way up to bother you guys, they would bother us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that terrifying. makes sense. We yeah. we send them out into the world, and then they come back. Yeah. 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 We terrorize. We're everyone. back. Yeah. For like three weeks. <laughs> okay. 
Do you like cooking or being cooked for? Cooking. Oh. It's the only way to get what I want. You're a good cook then. You know what I mean? Every someone else cooks for you, like, how do you like it? And I'm like, it's fine. Okay. okay. So what's your favorite thing that you've cooked? Oh wow. Yeah. Um, I know. I ask the hard questions. Um, I have a really good recipe for um, a pureed vegetable soup, Ooh. which uh, you would swear has cream in it. It really feels, and it's really dense, so it fills you up, and you you think like, oh, I've just eaten a billion calories, but it's mm. just vegetables. So you take, so if it's cauliflower soup, you take um, leeks, onion, garlic, and celery, and chop that up. And however much, if you say you have two cups of that, then you then you quadruple it. Mm -hmm. So two, four, six, eight cups of, I'm really good at math. Math's hard. Eight cups of cauliflower, and you chop that up, and you, you kind of saute it uh, over covered until it's all very soft. And then you puree it and cut it with chicken stock. Okay. And it is amazing. Put a little nutmeg in it. You've now um, made me hungry. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, and it'll fill you up. And as an actor, you always want stuff that yes. fills you up without yes. you know, too much collateral damage. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, so that's kind of my favorite thing right now. All right, I like this. I'm yeah, here chef for this, honestly. Nice. Yeah, and you can do anything with it. You can make broccoli soup. You can make potato soup, oh. carrot soup, with the same idea. Four times, four times the amount of... And come to my table, I'll give you the recipe. Yes. <laughs> Seeing as he's making you all hungry at dinner time anyway. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So good. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Have you had many like Canadian foods while you were visiting, like poutine and our kinds of chips and stuff? I, I'm, I'm of two minds about poutine. Okay. Which is, I like crispy. And you can get crispy poutine. I, can, can you like order the poutine with the poot, is it poo or teen, the sauce? I don't know. But whatever that stuff is on the side, or would they be like, get out of here, American? I mean, I feel like depending on the like, restaurant, they could be offended. That's the thing. It's like, because it, when you put it on there, and then by the time you get it, it's, I'm sorry, it's not crispy anymore. It's the cheese all melty. I know, but I, if I could take a crisp, like a super crispy French fry and dip it in that stuff, Cause that's awesome. Poutine gravy hits different. It really yeah. does. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. It's good. I just, it's mushy. All right. We'll forgive you. It's true. Come on. We can be honest. We'll forgive it's you. It's like mashed potatoes down there. <laughs> So, do you prefer ketchup chips or all-dressed chips? Those are two very Canadian chips. I am chips. ignorant of the, of the latter. What is that? All-dressed all yeah. is just spicy goodness in your mouth. Well, that sounds good, but right? that's theoretical. I'm, I'm not lying. You put it in your mouth and it just is I'm all I'm going to go with the bird in the hand, ketchup. Oh, good save. So yeah. I don't know. I approve of that. Ketchup yeah. is a good one. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, oh, do you like going to art museums or history museums? Art Oh, good answer, good answer, good oh, answer. But see, history is good. I like history, I really do, uh, because it's all the boring parts of human experience taken away, and all of the, all of the interesting stuff remains, and so <laughs> you just talk about the cool stuff and the interesting stuff. Like, basically, when people are trying to fight over power, and they're being foolish, but it's interesting. Um, but it's, it's, you go to a history museum, and like, you know, like, uh, Ulysses S. Grant's belt buckle. Yeah. You know, like, okay, I guess, you know. But art grabs me uh, and doesn't want to let go. Um, but you know what? The, the problem with art museums, actually, is that they're filled with pieces, each one of which deserves your full attention for months. And you're really only there for like two hours. And, yeah. And so I, I get this feeling like, look at me. Look at me. Oh, me. Oh, me. And I get, get, I get so tired. And I, I guess I have that reaction because when I was in New York as a student, the problem was, in the wintertime especially, how do you get off the sidewalk? Because you, you can't spend the whole time in your little tiny apartment, you go crazy. So you go walking, but when you're poor, you can't afford to get off the sidewalk. But the Metropolitan Museum, you could, you were supposed to give them eight bucks, but you legally, heard? if you were a resident of the city, you could give them anything. You had to give them something, so I gave them a quarter, and they hated me. They would stare daggers at me. They would like, give me the pen that let me in. 
fine, you vagrant, get in here. But I would do this all the time. And so because I would do this four times a week, I would just go in there and sit down in the sculpture garden and just be with Rodin and just look at his, his sculptures. Or I would just look at Monet and just sit there and just pay attention to two paintings all day and not get tired and get filled by the art. Well, because it makes you feel like history museums are fantastic in the sense of you learn really cool things, but art museums let you feel things. Yeah. 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 Um, but I have to be careful. I have to, whenever I go to an art museum, I'm always like, I'm not going to see everything. No. Because if I see everything, I'll see nothing. I exactly. just, I just, let's just look at a few good things. Yeah. 